Yeah, breaking news right now on Today in L.A. Israel strikes back 48 hours after that deadly Hamas attack, and the country has ordered a full siege of Gaza. Our team coverage continues live in Washington as the State Department now says that nine Americans have been killed. This is Today in L.A. at 5.30 with breaking news. Thanks for joining us and good morning. I'm Adrian Arambulo. And I'm Lynette Romero. We will have much more on that breaking news in just a moment. But first, we're going to get a quick check of weather with Belen. Hi, everybody. When it comes to your forecast, things are easy peasy. Actually, things are cooling down for the start of the week. That means we're starting off with some fog because of that onshore flow. Right now, we have low visibility around the basin and also near the coast. So inland, uh, visibility is doing OK. But if you're driving anywhere around the downtown area, Long Beach, LAX, then you're going to bump into some fog. The view right now, Mount Wilson shows that cloud cover out there in the distance. So gradually, we're going to get to the sunshine. Then we'll have a few high passing clouds during the afternoon. 60s this morning. It's actually a few degrees cooler than yesterday. Grab the sweater, the jacket, the layer when you leave the house. It's nice and fresh. This afternoon, thankfully, it's not going to be as sweltering as the weekend forecast. Temperatures are coming down. We're going to have highs in the 70s and 80s. A little toastier in the high desert where it will be breezy this afternoon. So there's your Monday forecast in a nutshell. We'll take a closer look the next time I see you. But right now, Holly Hanniel is keeping a close eye on traffic. That's right, Belen, and we have a major problem that I have been tracking since 4 a.m. at the start of the show. This is in the Irvine area on the North 5 near Jamboree, just a little south of Jamboree. All lanes are closed, so this is a full shutdown following a fatal wreck. You will need an alternate route. If you're looking to get to the 55, you can always use the North 405, or Walnut is a surface street that runs parallel to the 5, and you can always hop off the North 5, take Walnut, and then reconnect to the North 5 at Teston Ranch or Red Hill. I'll continue to keep you updated throughout today in LA. Traffic alert in Irvine. Back to you at the desk. All right, Holly, thank you. 531 right now. And we're following breaking news overseas. Israel says it has regained control of its territory after a bloody raid by Hamas fighters. The country has also ordered a full siege of Gaza and pounded the area with airstrikes. The State Department now reporting that nine Americans have been killed. And now the U.S. is sending military planes and ships closer to Israel in a show of support. NBC's Alice Barr continues our team coverage on Capitol Hill. Alice, good morning. Good morning, Lynette and Adrian. President Biden has been in contact with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu more than once, trying to send signals of support to what is one of America's closest allies, as now he's navigating another very difficult foreign policy challenge for the Biden administration. As the full scope of the deadliest attack on Israel in decades comes into focus. This is an attack that I don't think anyone saw coming. The tragedy compounded with news that at least four Americans have been killed. The Senate's top Democrats saying that toll will rise after lawmakers were briefed on the latest developments. Americans who managed to make it out of Israel describing scenes of horror. There were rockets above us all day. Israeli officials say at least 700 people have been killed in what they're describing as their nation's 9-11. Israeli airstrikes now hammering the Gaza Strip after the ruling Hamas militant group in Gaza attacked Israel on multiple fronts Saturday morning, raining rockets into Israel, while Hamas fighters infiltrated, in some cases by paraglider, as this video shows. A music festival in the Israeli desert, one of their first targets. 260 people were killed here, many more taken hostage. As the hostage crisis unfolds across the country, this Israeli father desperate to find his kidnapped wife and two young daughters. They are babies and my wife, uh, they are my only family. The Defense Department announcing...